Well, an outdoor aquarium at Port Canaveral is almost three quarters of the way to being fully funded. The Brevard County Zoo is behind this major project. News 6's James Barvero is at the port where fundraising is strong. I'm at the future site of the aquarium project. It's 14 acres along the Banana River that was never developed. The Brevard Zoo is hoping in just another year, groundbreaking can begin. Building an aquarium is sort of a once in a lifetime experience for almost all of us. And the zoo's executive director has good news for Port Canaveral commissioners. Two years ago in this same building, we reported the commission gave the zoo approval to build the aquarium. And now Keith Winston says fundraising for the project has reached $70 million, half of those donations from private citizens. We're so pleased with how many people in the community have participated to date. After telling commissioners the zoo is still seeking $30 million to fully fund the aquarium, I asked Winston at the zoo about donations that are still needed. In his presentation to commissioners, he said the Ron John Surf Shop donated $2 million. What do you think that says to you about this community's wanting of this aquarium? Everyone here cares about the Inner River Lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean and the St. John's, and so they see this as that lighthouse that will keep those assets beautiful and pristine. To be located where A1A merges with the 528, renderings of the aquarium show a manatee healing center and a seagrass nursery. Winston says a dollar from every ticket will go towards improving the water quality of the lagoon. And if the groundbreaking stays on schedule for next fall, the zoo hopes to open the aquarium to thousands of guests in 2027. At Port Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6.